Okay, in this uh, short video, we'll take a quick look at iCloud and see what that can do for us. Um, iCloud basically does one of two things. It will sync different types of data between your iPad and other iOS devices. Uh, and it can also be uh, set to back up your data to the cloud so that if your iPad got lost or damaged in some way, you could recover everything that is on your iPad and bring it back onto a, a replacement device. So I'm going to start by tapping uh, settings and you can see on the left hand side there, there's uh, just under general, there's an option to choose iCloud. So I just tapped on that and you log in here with an Apple ID. It has to be an Apple ID that you've used before. So pick one of those and click uh, sign in. Now the first time you do this it's going to verify for a little bit and it will ask you for Apple's terms and conditions. Um, you didn't see that this time because I've done this before but you will get pop-up messages like this. Do you want to merge with iCloud? Your bookmarks on this iPad will be uploaded and merged with iCloud. You know usually that's fine that's not a problem so I will click merge. Next one says allow iCloud to use the location of your iPad. This enables the Find My iPad feature. So yes, we do want to do that. There's some uh, good reasons why we would want that. And I'll talk about that in a minute or two. So at the top here, you can see all the things that you can sync and back up with iCloud. Um, mail is only available if you have an at me.com email address. If you want to create one, you can create one. But it doesn't back up any other types of email accounts right now. So I'm going to cancel that. Contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks from Safari, um, notes, all can be turned on or off as you desire. Photo stream is off right now, but if you turn that on, what it means is every picture that you take with your iPad from now on will automatically sync to other iOS devices that you've got iCloud set up on, and it will back up those photos to iCloud. Documents and data is on. That's a good thing that backs up all the documents you create on your iPad. And find my iPad. That was when we turned on the location service. It allows you to locate your iPad on a map and re remotely lock or erase it. So if you lose your iPad or you misplace it or you forgot where you put it, you can actually go online and if it's connected to the internet, you can find your iPad and you can lock it or you can erase it or you can send a little sound to it and maybe we'll do a, a follow-up video on that one just to show you how that kind of thing works but the important thing I think for a lot of people is going to be this one at the bottom here that says storage and backup so let's tap on there takes you onto the next page here and it shows you how much storage you've got for iCloud and it says iCloud backup is off right now so I'm going to turn I cloud backup on and it says your iPad will no longer back up to your computer automatically when you sync with iTunes that is fine for me because I almost never plug my iPad into my computer and I don't always like using iTunes I'm not a big fan of iTunes so what this means now is that it, iCloud will automatically back up my camera roll my accounts my documents and settings when the iPad is plugged in locked and connected to Wi-Fi. So when you've plugged it into the wall, you've got that wall charger on there, your iPad's on standby, connected to a home Wi-Fi network or a work Wi-Fi network, it will automatically back up all your documents for you. Which means you don't have to plug it into iTunes and sync and do all that good stuff because it's going to automatically do that for you. So you just tap back up now and it's going to start looking what's on your iPad and throwing all that up into iCloud. Uh, so that you've got a copy of it there when you need it. So it takes a little while um, the first time or the first few times you do it but it's a great thing to have that's automatically going to do that in the background for you. You don't have to worry about um, losing any data because it's all going to be synced up here with the iCloud. So there you go. Um, pretty nice and straightforward. As I said, maybe we'll come back and do some more follow-up videos on iCloud, but people get confused and mixed up with it. There's not a, a whole lot really that's um, all that difficult. It's just a, a different mindset. So I hope you enjoyed our quick look at iCloud.